Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to some more Grub Guardian. So, I've been looking at comments and seeing what people are saying about the series, and I'm glad to see a lot of people are enjoying it, but people had some suggestions about the towers. So, there are some towers that you can get in the crown shop, as well as the map pack and stuff, so let's click them. And we have Moon, Sun, Star, and Avalon Guardians. So, people were saying that the Avalon one is good, and I think it was the Star one. I don't really, yeah, I think Star and Avalon were the ones that people suggested. I mean, Avalon is the newest one, I guess, and it's the most expensive, so I'm guessing it looks pretty good because it emits electricity that changes to enemies. So, we're going to buy that one today. Buy that. So, we have that one, and then the other one was Star Guardian. This one emits a laser beam at an enemy, and I guess it just stays on the enemy and increases power until it dies. So, that seems pretty good. So, let's buy these. And we're not going to buy the map packs yet. We'll get there eventually, but since we're still in like the early parts of the game. What are these? Power-ups? That's fine. Since we're still you know, early in the game, we're going to wait on buying those. But we're going to stick with the life pet. I feel like the boost in power for our guardians is really good. All right, let's go wizard prizes. And then we did the oasis and we did the tomb of storm. So today we're on the pyramid of the sun. And then we also have one more, the croco sphinx that we'll be doing today. So these two at least, and then we'll probably be moving on to Marleybone. Try to do as much of this as we can in the episode. So pyramid of the sun, so we're starting off today. I can actually use the... Yeah, I can use any of these towers. Let's try that. So we got today. Okay, so we definitely see the pyramid. All right, guardian. I always don't know where to put it. I guess in the middle is just the best spot because they come through here. And they're gonna try to get here. Yeah, this is this is probably a good spot. So right there. And then we're gonna start putting down our new towers. So they're probably gonna go either this way or this way. I would say, can I put one here? Yeah. Okay, so we got the star and the Avalon Towers. That's awesome. We start with 80 coins. So 30 and 20. I don't really need the star one because that one's probably only good on single targets. The Avalon could be good. I think we start with the Avalon. I want to try the Avalon. And then I want my usual myth one. Let's put a myth one over here. Because the myth ones are cheap, but they're good. So let's rank up that one to five. Cause it's only or five more uh, coins for that. Probably rank up that one too. And then maybe another myth one over here. What else do we got? Ice. I'm not going to do ice yet. Maybe we'll put ice somewhere down here. Uh, let's go another myth on this side. Okay. Click go and we'll see how difficult the Croco Sphinx is. How much is these? Maybe we can just level them up right now. Do it. Well, they're all going on this side, but I mean, there's only a few of them anyway. All right. Was that the first wave? Yeah, I think it was. Look, they got the loot guy. It's playing like the. I can't really see it because the flag's blocking it. He's playing his his fruit. What is it like the the melon loot? I guess what it is. The watermelon. I mean, it looks like he's doing some damage and does a lot to every person that's even around it. Okay, Humongo Frog doing some damage over here. I just realized we have a lot of money that I should probably spend. Okay, we're gonna pause. Pause. All right, let's go fire. Or can go another Avalon. I mean, the Avalon one's doing good. Let's just go Avalon. Let's just go Avalon one. Let's do that. And then, let's look good at the 20. Yeah, do that. All right. There we go. Got another loot player. Pretty good. Almost got the owl this time. And then let's look at that guy. We'll go myth and Avalon Towers for this one. Man, if I had multiple Avalon ones, they would just destroy everything as they come out of the the, the portal up here. All right, thirty. Let's go for that. And then this side needs to be a little beefier. Because this guy doesn't hit him until they come like around here. I already got a Medusa. I do want to try the Star Tower. 
but maybe in a different level. But this one, I mean, this one it seems like if I had just a lot of Avalon Towers, it'd just be crazy. Okay, so the stag is going in, but we can also upgrade the stag to something else. So upgrade him as well. All right, come on, stag. What do we got? Oh, Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake is joining us today to zap some people in Crocotopia. Is this guy even hitting him? I feel like he's, oh, I think he's hitting him. I don't know. They don't even really get that far. So Lady of the Lake just destroys them. And Medusa. Double Medusa action. Oh, we got Annihilator. Okay. Let's just level this guy. Oh, there we go. Let me try the Star Tower. Star Tower. Well, that, that actually kind of works. Let's level it. Let's do another Star Tower over here. Star Tower. You're hitting the wrong guy. You're hitting the wrong guy! Wait, we need more. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay. Um, yeah. Get him, Star Tower. So, Star Tower is good on bosses. And it looks like it's doing pretty well. We had, like, a huge boss wave here. Can I level him again? Do that, finish this off. There we go. I can't even tell what it is. This one is one of those like spider witches. This guy's a guy from Avalon. Okay, we're definitely going full on Avalon Tower. And we can do that as well. I mean, it's looking good. This guy likes... <laughs> it doesn't even look like he would be shooting a beam. because He's like chopping the ground. But I guess he is. Let's put a ice tower here. Freeze them as they go up. To try to steal our food. I guess that's the main point. Come on, ice tower. Freeze them. All right, good. Is this the last wave? I think this is the last one. These ones can still be ranked up. Maybe we'll look at putting the star towers down earlier. Yeah, that was the last one. Because they do some good damage, especially on the bosses, so I like it. Okay. Ooh, we unlocked Hyde Park and the Croco Sphinx. I think we'll just do the Croco Sphinx just to get that one over with. Kind of complete everything up to Marleybone. Gummy worms. Okay. So, there's Hyde Park. We could do that. That's medium difficulty. What is the Croco Sphinx? Hard. This one was medium. Okay, we're going to need our Avalon and Star Towers for this one. So, Croco Sphinx is considered a hard map. Let's try it out. So, they're coming from here and over here. They're trying to get to the, the food over there. So, I could just go in the middle. Seems like a good option, because I'm going to put everything like right here, because I have to go. This one has a long ways to go. This one has to go all the way around, so this seems like a good spot. We're going to go Avalon here. Let's go Avalon Tower, and then we could go... I kind of like fire. I really like the fire towers. Let's rank that. I don't have enough of that one. Okay. Let's try this. I want to be safe and put a myth one up here, though. Let's do that. Let's put a myth one up here just to be safe. Because these guys do get a little close. Rank him up. Who should we bring up first? Probably the Avalon one. Our little safety mechanism myth guy up there. Gonna take anyone that gets close. We got electricity, fire. Let's just upgrade the fire guy. So I'm mostly worried about the guys that are coming through this portal. These guys get taken out because they have lots of chances to get hit coming all the way from there. Okay. We'll just wait on these. 
Let's summon... Should we go star? Let's go with the star one up here. Ooh, that range. That range of the star tower. Okay, we need the upgrade of this one. There we go. We'll put another Avalon Tower in eventually. They are really good. Oh, I just realized we already have bosses. Um, are they getting taken out? Come on. Come on, Star Tower. No! Get him! Yes! Okay. This is getting dicey. We need this guy to level up. We need another Star Tower. Oh, they're 30. I forgot they're 30. Okay, Avalon Tower then. Are they still in range of this? Yeah, there's plenty of range. Okay. So we got double on these towers. I should probably rank up the star one after it destroys this guy. 30. They're expensive, but they're good. They're necessary. Wow, these Krakens are actually kind of good too. Is no one going to hit the Kraken? Are you serious right now? All right, whatever. We can lose one thing. Nine. <laughs> Why didn't anyone hit the Kraken? Do we need another safety mechanism back here? Um. Let's do that. And that's pretty cheap, too. I want to put one s something here. Because then you could hit them down there as well. Where should we put? Maybe the... Maybe another fire? I can just go myth. What am I talking about? Okay, we have the Annihilator now. Myth as a extreme backup. And he can hit guys that come through here. So that should be good. Okay, this guy needs to get really big. Let's upgrade our front line. These guys are basically here just to weaken everyone coming through. And then these guys clean up if they can. Krakens can take some damage. I'm kind of scared of the Krakens. Let's go Ice Tower. Let's get an Ice Tower. Yeah, look up for the Krakens, kid. Come on. Come on, Myth! Myth! No! Okay, we need, we need this to slow them down. They're going too fast. We're going to upgrade this thing to be big. And then also you. We're just throwing out upgrades now. It's necessary. These Krakens are getting too far. They're losing too much food. <laughs> okay, let's get the max one of that. We're gonna freeze them. We're gonna light them on fire. Is Lady of the Lake the highest one? Yeah. Good to know. Let's rank you up back here. Okay, the ice thing is working. Reduce speed helps out a lot. Okay, let's get another Lady of the Lake. I think this one is Lady of the Lake, is it? Yeah, for sure. Yes. How much for you? 20? You can afford? This is only wave 4, by the way. It is a hard map. So, let's just get everything perfect. Oh, we got the bigs! We got the huge Colossus, guys. I'm waiting to upgrade this one. But I can't kill any of these guys and get coins yet. Because they're, they have a lot of health. There we go. Upgrade that. Alright, we're freezing them. So that's good. We get a little more time to deal damage. It's doing a lot of damage, though. Look at the Kraken's coming in. Is everyone, like, high rank? Can upgrade this guy soon. 50 coins for that. Better be good. We also have the Annihilator. Better keep that in mind. But we might need it in the next few waves, so. These guys didn't get that far. Our defenses are holding. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Max level of him. Who else would be a good addition? I want to say. Wait, does it even reach here? Oh, I could put a, another. I could put something here. We put another Avalon one here. Because then it would hit people that come through here, and then probably people over here. Upgrade one of these guys. 
Oh my gosh, like they don't have much room to run to get over here. Maybe another fire one. We're getting this guy pretty much all the way, and then we're gonna get another fire turret up here. Okay, fire. All the AoE we need, all the overtimes to melt these ice colossus. There we go. Okay, it's holding. I like our backup strats over here. I think there's one more wave. Maybe I'll put down another star turret. I do like the AoE though. Can I put stuff on here? I just realized that you can put stuff on these. I thought you had to put it around it. But you can definitely put it on top of these jars and stuff. I thought it like blocked it so you couldn't put stuff there. Okay. Let's get him max. And now it's time for a start. Yeah, I could have put my pet on top of these too, I think. They're just there for looks. They're not really blocking the path at all. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Unless this was like a second wave of the last wave, this wasn't too difficult. I mean, this guy was probably the big boss, but we got him down. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. It was a little bad in the beginning. We got a silver because we lost like two food back there. So it was all right, though. We did pretty good. What do you get for that? We got a housing decoration. Okay, a little better than the snacks that we've been receiving and the acorn from last time. Pretty good. Okay, Hyde Park. Let's start with Hyde Park. Start Marley Bone today. And we'll probably finish it next time. Uh, not there. So we need to defend down here. Kind of a similar map layout to last time. Actually, no, not really. Because, ooh, this is... This is a little, uh, a little different. Because they come all the way here. And they only need to get to the food here. And then these guys. So it's separate paths. They don't really overlap at all. Okay. We are going to go with something here to kind of defend them against both. Maybe I should go for the ice one that I used to. Let's go for an ice one again. We're not going to rank it up much because we need something to do damage. So. Maybe. Two myth. I don't really need two myth. Man, I feel like I don't have that much <laughs> uh, coins right now. Um, they're going to have to be low rank. Well, he's only five. I could go Avalon. All right, fine, Avalon. All right. Hope this works. We need these to work. I mean, this is a medium level. And these guys should do damage. Yeah, we're doing damage. But the bad thing is, if they get past this at all, it's over. Let's believe in our team. Let's believe in them. How much to level you? 10. Okay, I should have leveled that too. We're gonna get coins. It's slow in the beginning. Freeze him. Oh, it's good. We got him. Okay. Avalon, level 2. I think this guy's only 7 to rank him, so we'll do that. Then we'll start putting people back here. Put one like right here and he would hit both. What should we put here? We could go with maybe the fire. Actually, probably just myth because if I was gonna do fire, I'll put it up here. I'll just have the backup myth tower. Make him up. Alright, these guys walk slow, but they have a lot of health. We're getting them. And we make them walk even slower with the ice. 15 for you. There we go. Okay. We're doing alright. I'm liking this. 
Then those guys are super fast, but they have low health. So. It works out. Oh, we have rat guys. The rat people. Okay, are we taking these guys out? Yep. Who should I level? Let's level up him. It's 30 for her. I mean, look at that range. That range is pretty good on the mid towers. That's why I like the mid towers. They put in the work. Okay, 30. This guy is 10. How much for you? 15. Let's wait till we get 30. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we could speed it up a little bit. I forgot. Let's try speeding it up, see what happens. I haven't been speeding it up because I feel like I wanted to get used to everything, but now I've, I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're getting used to this. It's working out. We're holding the line. Let's do that. Oh, the Kraken. Destroy him. Should we put up a star? We don't have enough for that. Uh, the Kraken has a lot of health. Okay, we got him. We're going that one. Rank that. I like the fire towers. They're just like an additional damage booster. To help kill like the big guys. And the small guys. I mean they do AoE, so. Okay. Drink him. Oh, we already did it. I didn't even look that it was the last wave. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's do one more for this episode. Get halfway through Marleybone. Chelsea Court. Cause I'm in like that Grub Guardian mode right now. Got another housing decoration. All right, Chelsea Court, to finish this one off. So it seems like in every world, the last level, which is optional, is the hardest one. So that's why Colossus was hard, and the, uh, what was the one that we just did? The Croco Sphinx? I think it was the Croco Sphinx. Okay, so they're going to be coming from all four of those portals, but they have to go, oh wait, they don't have to go through the middle. They could go through the middle. I want this guy in the middle though, so we have to put him here. Even if it means, let's go here. Uh, all right, fine. So, don't hit go. I almost hit go. That would have been bad. I would have had to pause right away. So the, right, let's just let's just get a lay of the land. These guys all go through the middle here. These guys come through the side. Okay, so we want guys in the middle. That will be protecting kind of both. Man, this one is 70 coins, though. Keep that in mind. Well, we need one on the side here. So we're going to go one here. Let's go myth on the side. Middle. Yeah, we got range. Middle, we're going to go Avalon. And then back up on the bottom. Let's just rank the, the Avalon. And these. So we have 10 more. I want an ice one, but there's no like really good spot to put the ice one on this map. I want another big turret here, but for now, this should be able to hold the line. Hold the door, maybe. There's no door, but it can still hold it. Okay. Okay. I'm not speeding it up. There's no way. No! Please kill him, please kill him. Okay. We need someone here. Let's go. Another myth. The inexpensive, but good damage myth turrets. And this guy is just kind of in the middle, just hitting anyone that he can reach. And he's doing some good damage, so we're going to level him. And... We'll have to decide if I'm going to do an ice turret, but there's... I can do it... I don't know. I'm trying to think of like the best spot. Maybe in the middle somewhere. I don't like that guy getting that close. Okay. Are we good? Are they coming in? Yep. They just gave us a little bit of a breather. <laughs> okay, let's level up all the mid turrets. What side might need a little help? Uh, I could put a fire here. 
Actually, no, I said I was going to do another Avalon, didn't I? Alright, let's do that. We have these guys all there. Just every direction that you can think of. I wonder if there's a map where they come on all sides of you. Like, it's in the middle and then you can just go all around like that. would be crazy. Okay, this guy might be a problem. I mean, we're taking that though. We're doing good. We could start doing a star. The stars are expensive though. Okay, so let's get a fire one going. Let's try a fire turret here because it'll hit people that are trying to sneak around the back. How much to rank these guys? 30. Let's just rank this one. Probably rank this one up next. Oh, well, it's only 15. Because he has to take out anyone that comes this way. It's just him. Until they get close. Okay, this guy's full health. Everyone hit him. Alright, good. Let's rank him. How much for that? 25. Okay, wave three. Only a few more. How much for this one? 20. I want to rank up this guy. I think next on the agenda would be to rank up this Avalon turret. The Avalon turrets are really cool. Like, they're a variety of just anyone from Avalon. They deal some good damage. I'm glad I bought him. Well, we need one coin. There we go. Okay, looking good so far. We only had one that got really close, that treant. But otherwise, it's looking good. Mmm, I could boost this side a little bit. 30. 35. Seems like most of them are coming on this side. Maybe they're waiting. And they're all gonna rush in on this side too. How's this guy doing? 15. Let's just rank him. Now we have two Minotaurs on each side. Or one on each side. There you go, Minotaur. That's all we need. Okay, is this the final wave? I think so. It's weird they count down the waves, you know, usually they count up, like, wave 1 out of 10 or something. So now that it seems like there's a lot on this side. Let's rank up that. Okay, if these are the last guys, that was pretty easy. Wow, that was not bad. You know, the hardest level we did was the final one of Crocotopia, but it was called a hard level so it makes sense the ironworks ooh, dungeon okay, let's have a look some gold for that one obviously you get better rewards if the map is considered more difficult oh that one was medium next one is hard okay so next time in the grub garden series we are going to be tackling the ironworks which is considered a hard level and then i'm sure that kensington park oh kensington park is definitely gonna be like this this was a hard dungeon in marleybone so, Kensington Park and the Ironworks. We'll be tackling those two dungeons next time. What was the, uh, the Croco Sphinx? Yeah. So, finished that today. I actually completed a lot. We almost did all of Marlowe and did about half of it. And then uh, we'll be doing some Mushu starting that. I'm seeing three levels in Mushu are hard. Wow. So, we're getting there. But uh, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, if you're liking the Grub Guardian series, make sure to leave a like on it. Stay tuned for more. We'll be continuing it in the next few days so be subscribed so you know when that goes up on the channel and other than that hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time